Hey guys, Bam Guitar Dude here again. So, next topic I want to talk about here is the oven self clean cycle for stripping and restoring cast iron. Let me begin by saying that I have used this method uh, many years ago when I acquired my first few pieces of cast iron. I used my oven self clean cycle to uh, strip off all of the buildup seasoning and crud and stuff like that and um, and I restored many many pieces of cast iron very early on using this method um, over time I began to become less uh, enamored with this method of cleaning cast iron let me let me just say will it strip a pan down absolutely Absolutely, it will strip a pan down, okay? But there are several reasons why I have discontinued the use of the oven self-clean method. And let me also say that if you are uh, working on cast iron that you own, you have the right to do whatever you want to with that iron, okay? I'm not going to sit here and tell you not to do something with the cast iron that you own. Okay, it's yours. You bought it. You can do whatever you want to with it. All right. What began to happen to me is as I was restoring cast iron, I had friends and family and people come to me and ask me to restore their cast iron. And that's when everything changed for me. And that's when I began to move away from the oven self-clean method to strip and clean cast iron because what started happening was very early on, I started to get pieces like this right here, okay? And I'm just using this as an example. This is an old 1800s gate mark piece of iron, okay? And you can see, just visually, you can see it is very, very thin iron, okay? It's very thin, and it's amazing that this stuff has even lasted this long. But um, I just was not comfortable putting other people's cast iron in my oven and using the self-clean cycle to strip and clean their pans. And so I began to pursue electrolysis and lye, building a lye bath to clean other people's cast iron is one of the main reasons. The other big reason for not using the oven self-clean cycle is it, it just creates a lot of smoke. Um, you know, there are, I've heard all of the stories about fire hazards and stuff like that. None of that ever happened to me, thank goodness. But boy, it sure did generate a lot of smoke and it smelled horrible when um, that built up crud that's been on those pans for years starts burning off that pan it smells just rank and that smell lingered in my home for <laughs> for days and um uh the other thing too is it just gets your house really really hot so if you're doing this during the summertime it gets really hot and what i used to do is i would open up all my cabinets around my stove and i mean the walls and the cabinets around my stove would get very warm and uh so i you know logically i was like you know this is I, i'm not really comfortable doing this long term so you know that's where i fall down on the oven self-clean cycle i know there are many many notable people um who promote the use of cast iron and clean cast iron who have mentioned this method. And again, um, I'm not going to sit here and tell you what to do or what not to do with your own cast iron. But if you are intending to restore other people's cast iron, I highly encourage you to move away from that method and consider investing in a uh, what I call a professional setup, which is electrolysis and lye. Okay? So there we go, oven self-clean cycle. Uh, just my thoughts and opinions on it. And if you have any questions, post them down below. Be glad to answer them. Take care. Bye-bye.